Michael Thompson. I've worked here at the International Rice Research Institute for nine years. And for the last five years, I've been heading up our genotyping services lab. So what we do, we have uh, both research and service activities. We have upstream research activities um, in molecular marker development, and then uh, application for the rice breeding programs. We try to identify uh, markers that are linked uh, with stress tolerance, uh, disease resistance, and grain quality. And then we use that to help the breeders uh, integrate these traits into their rice varieties. So rice is really an essential crop because over half of the world's population actually eat it as a, as a staple crop. When we talk about poverty alleviation or food security, rice is always an uh, important component um, in dealing with the challenges of the future. So a major problem actually um, in many areas of Asia and Africa is, is flooding. And so flash floods often will, will come and completely submerge rice fields for over two weeks. And in those cases, actually the farmers will lose their entire crop. And so Erie has worked with partners at the University of California at Davis and Riverside to identify a, a gene that, that provides a tolerance to complete submergence in rice. Yes, salinity is also a major problem in rice. So Erie has been working with our partners to develop salt tolerant rice varieties. So the farmers can grow these varieties in these areas that have high levels of, of salinity in the water and the rice will then uh, survive those levels and, and produce a good crop. So what we do, we take eight different rice varieties, we intercross them, and we identify what are the genes that are controlling uh, yield and stress tolerance. But at the same time, we produce uh, unique uh, combinations of genes in that material that the breeders can use uh, to develop the next generation of rice varieties. My team in the Genotyping Services Lab is actually working to use molecular markers to develop improved rice varieties. So what we do is we sample their leaf tissue, we extract the DNA, and then we run molecular markers on the breeding material. And the breeders can then use that uh, to make selection decisions in their programs. So feeding the world's a big challenge, but I think uh, really a lot of this new data that's come online recently has is, is really helped that um, accelerate that process. And so what we see in plant breeding, oftentimes it takes up to 10 years to develop a, a new rice variety. And with some of the new data and some of the new market technologies, we've reduced that time um, so essentially now in just five or six years, um, we can develop improved stress tolerant rice varieties that have disease resistance and improved grain quality in a much faster time than we used to before.